Hmm, let's see what it says. <clears throat> My dearest Elaine, if you are reading this, then you are married and I am dead. Now that you've finally settled down with a fearless pirate husband, it's time for you to claim the final pieces of your family's heritage. At the Lucre Island Municipal Bank, you'll find a safe deposit chest under my name. Among other things, the chest contains the deed to the Marley Mansion. Never lose sight of this deed. Furthermore, the chest also contains my wedding gifts to you. I'm sorry that I was unable to deliver them in person, but I go to my grave confident that you've chosen a man I would be proud to call grandson. Lastly, and most importantly, the chest contains the keys to the most terrifying secret in the Caribbean. A secret ten times as terrifying as Big Whoop? The secret of the ultimate insult. Yikes. If the unholy power of the ultimate insult ever found its way into the wrong hands, there's no telling what sorts of hex spawn mischief could be unleashed upon our fun-loving pirate citizens. Guard these secrets with your life, and know that no matter where you are, your grandfather is watching over you. With all my love, Horatio Tokamata Marley. How sweet. Uh, P.S. If your deadbeat parents come around looking for a handout, tell them to take a long walk off a short gangplank. Just object every chance you get. Um, yes? What is it? We're quite busy. Have you guys figured out how to save my mansion yet? You mustn't rush the gears of justice, Mr. Threepwood. There are writs of no look and prende to research. Subpoenas of e pluribus unum to serve. Webs of red tape to spin. It would go faster. Much faster. If we had the original deed to the Marley Mansion. Hey, according to Grandpa Marley's letter, the deed's here on Lucre Island at the local bank. Well, don't just stand there. Make like a lobotomized monkey. Go to the bank and get the deed. I'd like to sue someone. A lawsuit? Did someone say lawsuit? That sounds intriguing. Who do you want to sue? And why? I want to sue the twerp who's hurling boulders at my mansion. First things first, Mr. Threepwood. We have to stop him before we can sue him. I'd still like to sue someone. Who do you want to sue? And why? I'd like to sue the ghost pirate LeChuck for emotional distress. We can't sue a ghost. That'd be unethical. Immoral. And besides, there's no money in it. I'd still like to sue someone. Who do you want to sue? And why? Let's sue the electronic gaming industry for driving hardware requirements to ridiculous heights even for simple adventure games. What? I have no idea why I just said that. Why don't sharks eat lawyers? Who says sharks don't eat lawyers? Oh, but sharks eat lawyers all the time. Once they've signed all the appropriate corpus delecti waivers. What do you call a galleon full of lawyers at the bottom of the ocean? A terrible tragedy. A horrible waste. A potential negligence litigation gold mine. A good start. I don't get it. Neither do I. Do the families of these lawyers have proper representation? What's the difference between a lawyer and the ghost pirate LeChuck? Legally, the lawyer would have certain property rights. While LeChuck, being in a state of corpus transparentis, would be... No, no, no. One is an undead demonic plunderer, while the other is just LeChuck. Did you hear the one about the pirate who kidnapped a dozen lawyers? Did the lawyers slap a lean on his ship? Did he get proper representation at his trial? No, no. He threatened to release one every hour until his demands were met. How can you tell when a lawyer is lying? Oh, that's easy. You hook him up to a reliable, though legally inadmissible, lie detector apparatus. Actually, you just check to see if his lips are moving. Did you hear the one about the lawyer who sued to get into paradise? Which one? The Henderson versus St. Peter? Carbuncle versus Heaven? There's a lot of case law in this area. Wow, this is a tough room. Why don't sharks eat lawyers? Who says sharks don't eat lawyers? Oh, but sharks eat lawyers all the time. Once they've signed all the appropriate corpus delecti waivers. I'd still like to sue someone. Who do you want to sue? And why? Never mind, I changed my mind. Well, I'll let you guys get back to work. Please do. If I took it, their clients wouldn't have anything to sit on.
And just why not, young lady? Bank policy, sir. I can't convert these traveler's checks because we've never heard of, uh, what's his name? Australia. But you've honoured them countless times before. We've had a bad run of counterfeit money come through here lately, so we've had to tighten our policy. And if you ask me, these don't look real. <laughs> Besides the funny name, there's a picture of a strange animal on here that has another one popping out of its belly. That's a kangaroo, you ignorant pirate trollop. See? There you go. Kangaroo. Another funny name. Funny to say, too. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. <laughs> oh, strip. I've got business to attend to, but I'll come back, and when I do, I want these honoured. Have a nice day, Mr. Mandrill. You should switch to decaf. Kangaroo. 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 Hi there. Welcome to the second bank of lucre. I'm Brittany. How may I help you? What happened to the first bank of lucre? Nothing. It was our public relations department's idea. They felt that being called the first bank didn't project an image of experience. I'd like to make a deposit. Do you have an account here? No. Then what else can I do for you? I need to make a withdrawal. Do you have an account here? No. Then what else can I do for you? I'd like a loan, please. All right, sir. And what would the funds be used for? I've always wanted jewel-encrusted bunny slippers. That sounds perfectly reasonable. Really? I mean, yes, of course. Do you have a job? I'm a mighty pirate. I see. And what's your salary? Um, nothing. Thanks for your time. Someone will contact you in three to five business years. I'd like to retrieve some items from my safe deposit box. Fine, sir. And whose name is it under? Marley. H.T. Marley. Here's a letter that might help. I see. This is for Governor Marley. Do you have power of attorney to act on her behalf? I'm her dashing husband. <laughs> Not good enough. Oh. Well, there is this. Oh, my. <laughs> that will be fine, sir. Just a moment, Mr. Quidworth. There's a gentleman here to use the vault. Everything seems to be in order, Mr. Marley. That's Mr. Threepwood. As you wish, sir. If you'll just follow me into the vault, we can open up your grandfather-in-law's safe deposit chest. Mm. Ah. Well, here it is, sir. The safe deposit chest of H.T. Marley, just as he left it over 20 years ago. Wow, what an amazing collection of junk. Why would Grandpa Marley store garbage like this in a bank? That Governor Marley was an eccentric old salt, wasn't he? <laughs> you know, we were all crushed when he disappeared off the face of the earth like he did. Anyway, well, I've got some loans to turn down. You just let me know when you're done here and I'll come running. Gee, thanks. Well, I guess I better start looking for that deed to the Governor's mansion so I can get home to Elaine. Let's see now. Hot water Mr. bottle, Freeport. monkey what pacifier, grogamax, uh, Jimmy Hoffa, uh, do-it-yourself tattoo kit, Robert bloody G. stiletto Green knife, Allen's bottomless mug. Well, well, you really should have called me first. We have rules about leaving the vault unattended. Gee, I'm sorry. I'll go back. And I'll see if I can scrounge up a grog. Wax lip. Wax lips. Ah, there it is. Stick him up! Yikes! Who are you supposed to be? Isn't it obvious? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No, you're not. What makes you say that? Well, for one thing, Guybrush is much better looking than you are. <laughs> and for another, the real Guybrush doesn't smell like anchovy halitosis. Ooh. All right, mate, bucko. That's enough of that. Back away from the Barney heirlooms and be quick about it. Now, Mr. Threepwood, take a good long look at the last face you'll ever see. <laughs> I knew that deregulated banking would lead to this. 